Rasmus Hodgland on verge of breaking Premier League record ahead of Luton Town Clash. Rasmus Hodgland could write himself into the Premier League history books this weekend as he prepares to face Luton Town. Manchester United are putting a good run together, with Eric Ten Hag's men winning each of the last three Premier League games and maintaining their unbeaten run in 2024. Hodgland has been at the heart of United's fine form, with the Danish international scoring in each of the last five Premier League games, becoming the youngest player to do so since Nicolas Anelka for Arsenal. Now, he could surpass Anelka's mark by scoring for the sixth Premier League game in a row, a feat that would see him become the youngest player to do so ever, as reported on the official Manchester United website. Newcastle midfielder currently holds the record at 21 years and 272 days but a strike on Sunday would see Hodgland become the youngest holder of the record. Hodgland has looked unstoppable since his goal drought was broken on Boxing Day earlier this season and he's rapidly emerging as one of the Premier League's most reliable goalscorers. His numbers are impressive but perhaps more importantly, the nature of his goals have been the kind you want from your striker. He's popping up in the right positions at the right time and getting a toe in to provide the finishing touch, a weapon United have greatly lacked in recent years. United are back in the race for the Champions League positions, currently trailing fourth place Tottenham by six points after looking to be out of the conversation just a couple of weeks ago. Manchester United make contact to sign Bayern Munich star. With the uncertainty surrounding Manchester United's ownership finally clearing up, the club can begin making plans for this summer's transfer window and according to reports, they have already made some moves. Eric Ten Hag needs to strengthen several areas this summer and it's absolutely crucial that he gets it right, with the last two summer windows being most hit and miss. Only a few select transfers can be regarded as 100% successful thus far. United have been ravaged by injuries this season and that has exposed the lack of depth in the squad, with some areas in more pressing need of reinforcements than others. Now, it is being reported that United have already made contact to sign Bayern Munich star Mathies Tell this summer, with the young attacker impressing. Tell has not started a Bundesliga game this season and will consider his options this summer if he can't see a path to success at Bayern Munich, according to German journalist Florian Plattenberg. As per the report, Tell's priority remains to make it at Bayern Munich but leaving on loan is not something the 18-year-old will consider. In addition to United's interest, it is reported that two other English clubs have inquired about that Frenchman as we head into the final couple of months of the season. Tell scored the winner in United's 4-3 loss at Bayern Munich earlier this season, finishing off a counter-attacking move in the closing minutes of the Champions League encounter. Journalist reveals reason why Sir Jim Ratcliffe doesn't want Ten Hag to be long-term manager. According to reports, Eric Ten Hag is not a long-term Manchester United manager in the opinion of Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his Ineos group. Following months of conjecture, it was officially announced back in December that Ineos boss Ratcliffe had struck a deal to purchase a 25% share in the Old Trafford team. Ratcliffe and his group will reportedly oversee football operations, while the Glazers would oversee business activities. Omar Barada was snatched away from Manchester City by Ratcliffe and his group, who then appointed him CEO. According to a rumours this week, the investor now wants Dan Ashworth of Newcastle United to become the team's sporting director. Reportedly, Ratcliffe and Ashworth do not consider Ten Hag to be the long-term manager of the Red Devils. Journalist Pete O'Rourke asserted on the most recent Football Insider's Insider Track podcast that club executives have labeled United's Champions League elimination and their repeated lackluster performances as unacceptable. Football Insider's sources claim that while Ten Hag is not in danger at the moment, his long-term status is still unknown. With United presently sitting sixth in the Premier League and their Champions League adventure turning into a nightmare following a terrible group stage, Ten Hag has found it difficult to get the best out of his players this season. Ten Hag's future depends on what happens between now and the end of the season. In order to convince the club officials, he needs his team to make it to the top four of the Premier League and have a successful FA Cup campaign.